Sam O'Reilly for Fight Talk with my Fight Talk brother Adam Noble Forsey. We are here to talk about what we've just witnessed, the Kell Brook Errol Spence Jr. card. Mate, what a, I thought it was a decent, you know, the last two fights probably saved the show. It was okay. It wasn't pay-per-view worthy until those last two fights in my opinion. Fuck man, Let, let's start with the with the main event, Errol Spence and Kell Brook. You, you, you just text that you're gutted. Um... Yeah, I know. Well, like, Kell Brook's like, probably my favourite fighter. Um, definitely favourite British fighter. Um, and, yeah, and he was in control. And I, I've been saying to everyone, he's definitely going to win. Um, yeah, he just couldn't handle it. It's just like these American kids. They've just they've got heavy hands. Like, it's similar to, like, well, it's like a le in less devastating effect to uh, Giovanni Davis. But, yeah, he just quit, didn't he? It's just his eye gave up. It was a different eye to the one that got injured, though, wasn't it? They, they said that. I mean, I remember the when he got hurt against Golovkin. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it was mental, but I didn't. You know, we were, obviously we were talking in the middle of the fight, and I said to you, didn't I say it? I think his eye's gone. And I think it's affecting his confidence. And you went, Nah, 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 he'll be yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought he'd be all right. Huh? Um, so look, I've got my scorecard here. Hold on, I'm just getting my scorecard. I struggle. Uh, I'll be honest. I struggle to score a fight like that when I'm watching it live. Um, it was a great fight, man. It really was. I thought Kel controlled most of the first first half. You know, not controlled as such. He was still getting caught, but he looked like he was get, picking the better shots than better yeah, shots. Yeah, definitely. Than I thought. I thought the class between the two fighters was evident in terms of sort of boxing, boxing ability and stuff like that. So, like, on my card at the end of the ten, when he went down. I, I had it uh, 95 to 94 in favour of Brooke. So I, I only gave Spence round three, then round seven, and then obviously I gave him round nine, and then in round ten he had an eight. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they were talking about the weight and stuff. So I don't know how much of that, that was an issue. But, you know, like most fighters, when they, when they go up, too high and then they try coming back down to their original weight it never really works so um, but I have no idea what they're going to do like I think he should just have some time out for a bit but you know I, I don't think I don't think people should be you know I don't think he should retire definitely not no nah, he's, he's, he's a young man he's a young he was controlling most of the fight like you know you like compare it to you can compare it to um, I think Kelbury gets a bit of a tough ride anyway but you compare like Klitschko Joshua like, well, Kel Brook was winning a lot more rounds in the fight with Errol Spence than uh, the fight between Klitschko and Joshua. And everyone was saying it's the best they've ever seen Klitschko fight. So, in that respect, you know, like, uh, uh, Brook should definitely, you know, it's just a loss. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's much point hanging around a well away. He's too big there. I think I think go to, like, middleweight and... And challenge for some titles there. I'm sure he, he can he can get that going. But yeah, I, I'd like to see him have like at least two two or three more big fights because he's a you know he is he's, he's still a world class fighter. You could see that during the fight. I thought um, yeah, I thought he looked really good up until about up until about seven. He started looking a bit knackered, didn't he? What do you think? Yeah, I think I think you're right. I agree with you. He's the better fighter, and I didn't give. You know, like I said, I, I struggled to kind of score rounds, but I thought Brook won majority of the first eight. You know, I think he won probably six or seven of the first eight. But no, probably six. Yeah. I think after eight, I had it six two, and then the ninth I gave to to Spence. And then you know, when Brook went down in the tenth, I don't think it was. I don't know what you know. It wasn't concussive shot. He didn't take a massive shot. It was more of a culmination of some good, accurate shots from Spence. Um, I don't know. Maybe is it a younger, you know, younger man, younger engine, fresher? You know, hasn't been in, in a Golovkin war in his last fight. Is it Kell Brook coming down from one sixty after him swearing blind in the lead up to that fight that you know that was his natural weight? Or <laughs> mm, I think, I, I think, yeah, I think, I think you you sort of like building up all these things. That, I mean, it's it's basically like a culmination of all. You know, you add going. <laughs> Getting beaten up by Golovkin and getting your face like literally smashed in, um, and then coming down, um, you know that that over a, you know, well over a stone, coming down over that, 
and then coming into a fight against someone like Errol Spence as well. It's like the most dangerous fight. You know, no one else will fight Errol Spence. Hence, what, like you look at his record, like Algeria was the only one, and I was sort of like last chance for him. But um, but yeah. I, I just sort of feel sorry for Kel <laughs> Brook You sound like I did after Hay lost that fight with Bellew, mate. You, you sound devastated. Yeah. I am, I am. I'm a big fan, but it's, it's, it's like his whole career. It's like he's just been one of them people. No one's, no one's ever wanted to fight him. Like, for God's sake, he mm-hmm. went over and beat Sean Porter and everyone was saying how, how good he was um, in America. Um, and he's never just quite got the... And then he had the... The, you know the incidents where he got stabbed. God knows what he's up to that night. But, yeah. Um, let's, let's. Do you believe? Is a, is a there's a double pronged question here, right? Because we know how brave he was to take the Golovkin fight on, no doubt about it. But do you think, first of all, the injury suffered in that fight affected him when he started getting hurt later in this fight? Yeah, probably. Because I, in my opinion, I looked at him when his eye went. Um, and the worse it was getting, and he looked like he wasn't, you know, it was affecting him more than, it affected his rhythm, it affected everything when his eyes started to go up. Now, obviously, you know, I'm sure it would come out, he said, obviously, when the fight was stopped, he said, I can't see, I can't see. But it looked to me like he was fading once that eye had come up. I said to you, at the time, I think his confidence has gone. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, is this a long-term effect on him being thrown in with, the middleweight king when he's never been anywhere near that weight is this a you know we all praised him for having the bollocks to go and do it but is this now has he lost his world title because he did that you know we'll never know the answers but fuck man it was yeah it's, it's hard to know do, do you think Spence okay. do you think Spence I think as well as well he was he was fighting Spence wasn't he and he obviously hits very hard so like mm-hmm. everyone else Spence has fought he's like laid them out pretty, you know I know he hasn't really fought him apart from Bundu and Algeria the only sort of names on his CV if you call them names yeah. um, so I think that that as well I think he does he, he hits very hard Errol Spence um, and he did he was catching him with some he was you know even though I had Brooke winning most of the rounds you know Spence was still having some success in those rounds mm-hmm. and when he was hitting him he was making it count to be fair so you know it was, uh, it was an interesting do you think Brook ever hurt Spence? Like, really hurt him? I mean, there was a couple of times when Spence sort of went across the ring. But bearing in mind he's a southpaw and Brook's a, an orthodox oh. fighter, they tripped up feet a lot of times. There was a few times where their feet got tangled. There's a couple of times that happened, yeah. Yeah, so me watching it, I didn't think Spence was ever really in, you know, looked like he was getting hurt by Kel's shots. What did you think? It's a couple of moments sort of in the mid to late rounds, it was like, ooh, that hurt more than before. Mm. But, um, no, but like saying that about Kel Brook, until his eye went, I, I thought he was taking Spence's shots quite well. I was like, oh, his face is holding up quite well. Do you know what I mean? Like, he, we were talking about Spence was having some success right from, right from the off. Um, yeah. You know, arguably, you could, Spence the first round I had that round quite tight but um, and, and Brooke was taking it he was taking some quite clean shots um, but they both were so yeah, yeah I did obviously obviously Spence is more natural to be in a world away so his, his punches seem to, to mean more than more than Brooks but yeah I think I think Brooke, like you look how more devastating Brooks punches were against Golovkin in the success he had when he was at middleweight. Do you think like, like middleweight is what he should be doing and what he should be yeah, doing in the Yeah, I first think place? the depletion that he puts on his body, you know, the, the the draining himself to make 147, it affects the power. That's my, yeah, per- that's my personal you are, but opinion. I don't think people realise how much it, it like, messes people's bodies up. Like, you speak to all the fighters as well. They, they all piss blood and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is like before the fight. So, because it's so dehydrated. So, and and you got to think as well. Like your your head, your head it sits in water. So you're you're extracting all that all that liquid out of your out of your system. It means your your brain is less protected as well. Just just from the lack of 
the lack of hydration and the lack of water and, and, and stuff in, in your body. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to, it's obviously going to play, play a big, yeah, big role. Yeah, that, that's something I could talk about, you know, for a long, long time. There's There's been a few documentaries lately on, you know, MMA weight cuts and Joe Rogan is quite outspoken about it and it is... Well, it, there are, well, there are Scottish kids it was doing Muay Thai in like Thailand or Philippines or something. He died in his sweatsuit. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, that's exactly it. And there's also, you know, cases in MMA which and boxing. I guess it's not it's not mentioned as much, but the guys go through the same to make weight. Where you you just hit the nail on the head. It, there's water on the. It's just not. It's it's really really bad for you. The only reason. You know these guys put their bodies through a training camp of twelve weeks, ten weeks, and their bodies are used to getting fucked and battered all over the place. But if any human being, normal human being, went and did the weight cuts these guys do, I'm telling you, there'd be so many deaths. It's unreal. Um, so it's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for your body. Some of the things guys go through to make weight is insane. Some of the stories I've heard are ridiculous. So maybe light middle's better for Kel, but I still. I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried that his confidence in taking a shot has gone. When you when you see the eye and how bad it was hurt by Golovkin, you know he's been sparring for this fight, obviously, but it's a little different with 14 or 16 ounce gloves and head guards to taking gloves off someone who can bang with eight ounces on it. I don't know, mate. I don't think Brook. I'm gonna say it, I don't think Brook will ever be the same fighter after that Golovkin fight. And that might be a massive, yeah. massive backfire from Eddie Hearn for putting him in there. Yeah. Well, I think there's. I think. I think one thing is right. You got to look at like who his promoter is. Obviously, it's Eddie Hearn. Let's look at Eddie Hearn's track record with fighters who lost their world titles. So, so Ricky Burns is quite a good comparison. He's sort of done a good job with Ricky Burns since then. So I think you know Kel Brook. I wouldn't be surprised if Cal Brook won a world title again at a different weight, probably a light, light middleweight. But um, yeah, like look, look at what he's done with Paul Smith, for God's sake. Oh, so I think I think Brook will be alright. But yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't think he's going to be the same the same fighter he was. Like that that that, that Cal Brook we saw against Sean Porter was a tremendous performance. Masterclass, yeah. Yeah, that was a great performance. Um, so yeah, I, I agree with that. But yeah, I don't, I don't think this is. I, I haven't. I haven't even watched um, Eddie Hearn and Brooke talking after that. I just turned it off. I was so upset. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like me. Um, you like me. But yeah, we had Dave lose as well tonight, didn't we? Although oh. I had him winning that. So yeah. But, um, back to back to Spence. Like things are going to be looking pretty good for him. But oh, also, is there a rematch clause in the contract or anything? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, if I'm Brook, I don't want it. I don't want to fight a one four seven anymore. Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's not like that, is he? He's not. He's not like that. Um, so yeah, Spence. Like he's with Heyman and me on PBC. You got Garcia. You got Thurman. Well, Thurman's out injured at the moment. You got Porter going on. Um, so you got some big fights in a that lights things up in America for the worldweight division. Massively. I think they they fucking love um, Spence. When I've done videos about Errol Spence, like got more like comment and trolling than anything else I've ever done. <laughs> um, but yeah, they absolutely love him. But yeah, he's he's good. But I, I, you know, although he hits very hard, like got a lot of holes in his on in, in his game. Um, he's not. I don't think he's. I, I just. I, I don't think he's what everyone keeps going on about. You know, he's this. He's this messiah. Like his. Um, his defence ain't great. There's hardly any head movement. Yeah, did, I, I can see what you're not, saying. Nothing moves his head much. And there's no, not like even much upper body or, or leg movement. He's just he's a slinger, isn't he? Um, yeah, I disagree a little bit. I mean, he doesn't move his head a great deal, but I think he does yeah. move the top half of his body quite a lot. Um, yeah, he's, but he's, he's, he's not like James Tony, though, is he? With his, well, who's like um, James Tony? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. But like, he's not. You know, it's not. It's just like it, you know, moving the way you know people do when they first start doing basic drills. Do you know what I mean? Is that sort of a well, it's either, so, either way. You know, I, I, I see. I don't see Spence. Sky Sports are saying Spence is going to go on and rule the world. 
middleweight division. I don't see that happening. I think Thurman I gives him a, a great fight. Yeah, I think Thurman gives him a good fight. I think Porter could beat him. Porter could beat because they just go at it. They just go at it, wouldn't they? They they, they just go for each other. So you know, Porter could beat uh, Spence. Garcia could beat Spence. Um, you know, Spence obviously has a great chance as well. But they're all kind of fifty-fifty fights, aren't they? Really. Um, Some big fights. So, there. big big fights there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But, uh, can yeah, we Brooks. can we please mention? I, I'm 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 chomping at a bit to mention the new WBA super super middleweight champion of the world, Mister George Groves. Yeah, good performance. I was jumping up and down on my couch, literally. No, no lie. Yeah. Up, and, up and down on the couch, mate. Right. Yeah, how... yeah, you're from West London, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone fucking loves George Groves in, in West London. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked he looked really good and Tudor, you know, stopping Tudor the whole. That's Mate. no easy, and I thought the stoppage could have been sooner, to be honest, and the referee gave him every chance, I thought. But yeah, he um, it was a couple of tight first rounds, but as soon as Groves sort of created that little bit of distance between him and Tudor, he could start really, you know, landed. Like, he's always been a big puncher, Groves. I think people forget that. Yeah, but he's the only one to floor Carl Froch, so, you know. Um, but yeah, over the moon. Over the moon, and that that sets up loads of big fights now. Nice. That's sort of the the main thing about all of this, isn't it? But um, yeah, I think I think Groves' wins a little bit um, undervalued by a lot of people. Chudnov's a Chudnov's a really good fighter. I think because you look at him, and it was only his sixteenth fight, Chudnov, but people forget he had well over. I think was it two hundred amateur bouts and. Oh yeah, he's a he, world star. He was amateur. a tough Russian bastard, man. How many punches did he take? I was scared. I'll be honest. The first three or four rounds, I was worried because Chudnov just kept walking George down. He was taking digs, but for me, I mean, we've touched on um, me and Craig touched on how good his jab was before. Um, yeah. But for me, the fight was won by his his swinging hooks around the back. You know, he was landing these hooks and. Uh, mate, Groves is a puncher. People do. You're right. Yeah. Pe- people forget he's a puncher. Yeah, he's, he's, he's entertainment. That's what George Groves is. Yeah. Like, you can't think of many boring George Groves fights. If you're, Can you? It, no, you don't get. I, I still remember the days when Kenny Anderson dropped him. I think once or twice, and yeah. that was before he was British title challenger. You know what <laughs> I mean, it, mate? I, I, I've been a big George Groves fan for a long time. Yeah. So, yeah, well, Groves has been lighting up TVs for. A long, long time. But yeah, sorry, go on, mate. Well, yeah, what, what do you want to see next for Groves? As a fan, what do you, if you could choose, who do you want to see Groves in there with next? Uh, well, he's got the WBA belt in it, so the they're, super, not, yeah. they're, they're, they're not going to get too excited about mandating him to, to fight anyone. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to see. Um, so he's fine. He's fine on that on that front. Um, you got Callum Smith fighting Darrell. Avenue. Is that for the WBC, uh, isn't it? That's for the WBC, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think yeah, it's got to be DeGale. I think I think it will be DeGale. Surely DeGale needs a DeGale needs a fight. And Eddie Hope yeah. did an interview a couple of days ago on IFL TV saying, um, "What did he say? He said that yeah, the, he wants him to do he wants to do it at the O2, but grows uh, grows DeGale." That does a that does a stadium, doesn't it? Not a Wembley. It so could, that could it be could a Stamford, Stamford Bridge yeah. or something. Yeah, could do could do a Stamford Bridge or an Emirates. Um, yeah, yeah. I, me personally, I want to see. I, I do want to see Groves de Gale again. It was a great fight the first time to. round. Yeah, but that to does it need to happen next, or can does Groves need? But then again, yeah, it, let's do it now. <laughs> neither, neither of them are getting any younger. Yeah. It's not like they're like both creeping up the like let's get it let's get it done now and then winner takes Callum Smith. Like let's find out who the best is. Let's start start fighting each other. Do you know what I mean? Let's let's do it. They've been going on about it for ages. I think I think the time is now. I think the girls just recovered from all from all his injuries, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He? he's fit and ready yeah. to go. Yeah, he's ready to go. Like the Gale and Groves aren't they're at the stage in their careers. They're, they they don't need tune ups and all that shit. They're ready to go. Let's go in. So what are we in now? We're in we're in May. We could do it. We could do it in September, couldn't we? 
Do you know that's when that's when Callum Smith fighting Darrell September? I was surprised it's so far away. Oh, that's in September. I thought it was before that. Yeah, I believe it's in uh, September. You know, I think you're right. We could do it. We can we can have Groves the Gale next. The winner fights Callum Smith, unless um, Callum Smith's first. It provided he beats Darrell, obviously. Is that a venue for Callum Smith? I think it's in America, as far as I know. California, maybe. Maybe I'm making that up. Oh, it is. It's in America, isn't it? It's in America. Yeah, but. Well, they lose. They, they lose the first bit, didn't they? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Been losing a lot of purse bids, naturally, recently. But, um, I suppose they've got more purse bids than anyone else. Really. Yeah, very true. Um, I think uh, Callum Smith, yeah, I'll tell you who his first defence is going to be when he wins that title. It's going to be his brother Paul, because Paul's going to get beat by Tyron Zug again, or Zwiga. For his, yeah. And uh, they're going to give him another world title fight against his brother, yeah. maybe a rollover. They love Paul Smith in Germany. <laughs> they love him. They gave Arthur Abraham a run for his, his money. Did he? Um, Did he? But, yeah. Really? Uh, I don't know. So yeah, that fight could happen this year, uh, but I think they'll probably build it for next year. Yeah, yeah, no. I think they will. Let's I just um, let's touch on the rest of the card briefly. Lawrence Acoli smashed his man out there in a minute again, or two minutes, whatever. No drama. Yeah. Anthony Fowler, in my opinion, should have been disqualified. I'll say it. He. They should all get fucking disqualified. These Olympians, they were all doing it, punching after the bell. Although I felt a little bit. Sorry for Joe Cordina, who you were just about to come on to, because um, the other guy was headbutting him and um, cheating more than more than him, and Cordina just hit him with a punch. So yeah, um, yeah, they got some issues there, Olympian. How was um, Dave Allen's fight? I'm so gutted, man. Dave Allen obviously yeah, lost well, on a split he, to Lemoy Thomas. He was going to box, didn't he? he said in the interview, he was going to box. He didn't. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. He's, He's still young for a heavyweight. He's got a long way to go. Like he's still, but he needs to get. He needs to get. I think he's sort of like in a stage of. Um, but it was a close fight. I actually had him winning the fight. To be fair, I had him winning by a couple of rounds. We were messaging. Yeah, yeah like, I, I, I had Dave winning by two or three. I try not to be biased um, because he's a mate. I, I consider him a friend. He's a great bloke. Um, and I, I still couldn't, even if he was my son, I couldn't have scored him the way Carl Froch did, having him winning by seven. <laughs> yeah, Froch is like him. Froch is like him. Fuck um, me. But yeah, no. I, but yeah, I, I, I thought I, Dave was like, quite clearly the better fighter, so I feel a bit sorry for him there. Um, uh, so yeah, but um, I, I hope he just keeps boxing. And I think, I think in a way, for someone like Dave, probably did he lost. It means he's still, he's been still right in getting his career. It doesn't matter these these losses. It doesn't matter if in you know in when he's twenty eight, twenty nine, and he's had a he's had another fifteen fights. If the last eight of those fights he's undefeated and had a couple of ranking fights, he's got all that experience behind him. He can he can still have a go. Yeah, I still think yeah. he could he could go and fight a few English guys and get a shot at a British title pretty soon. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, no, yeah. That's Twenty five years old. Let's let's hope he comes again and learns a lot from yeah. the fight. Well, the, the, out of the fighters that go into the British title, he he's clearly the best. Yeah, uh, him, Cornish, Stetson, you know, Cash Ali. He, 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 none of them want to fight. Though. None of them. Yeah. They've all been at them. So. Uh, yeah, they, he's still, I don't, I don't know if he's going to stick with him or not, but, you know, they've got, they've got a big following now, compared to what he did before, he had these fights with Dillian White, Ortiz, etc. No one, no one, no one knew who he was at all. Um, so, if you look at it from that respect, it's, but yeah, I think he's got a good group of mates around him and things like that up in, in Doncaster at the moment. So yeah, but yeah, he's got, he's got like, he's got to get a proper trainer and I, I'm nothing against his trainer, McMaster, but that sort of, I don't know, I don't know. He needs to like professionalise everything. I think. Yeah, it's time because he's got, he's got the talent and the hard graft, but you know, maybe he could have closed the show with, I don't know, maybe a bit more coaching. I don't know, I don't want to be disrespectful to McMaster because Dave trusts him a lot and, you know, he's worked with him well and they've had a full camp, so... Yeah, I'm not saying get rid of Mick Marston, but, you know, like, other aspects of just everything. Just yeah. everything. You know, like... He's got he, a lot of love for Dave. He's been quite open in the interview. I'm not saying anything he hasn't already told everyone, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, uh, before the Ortiz fight, he was just like, D 
doing some runs, this run he's been doing for ages, like that's not going to be good enough. Yeah. You know, like, I, I, I'm sure they haven't come that much of a long way since then. But um, so yeah, he needs. To, uh, but it depends if Hearn keeps with him or what. We'll, we'll see. Let's hope so. Good bloke. Very very good man. Very good. You know, deserved the shot. At, I think you know the following he's gained himself. It's fair play to him. So. Let's hope he comes mm, back it's stronger. It's a shame. I thought he won tonight. Most, most other did. people did. So. I did. I thought mm. he won. I might watch it all again tomorrow. In you know, not in the heat of the moment. Um, but first initial reaction was that he won the fight. It was a shit fight. It wasn't a great fight. No, stylistically it weren't great. But it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, yeah. um, just quickly, give me a sum up the. Um, no, so I'll tell you what, give me a score, a score out of 10 for the fight, for the pay-per-view itself. Out of 10, you know, it cost me £17.95 in HD. Out of 10, what would you score the pay-per-view? Uh, it's a really good fight in Brooks Spence, which is the main event, which that's what needs to be. That's what the whole pay-per-view should be based on. Uh, two of the best welterweights in the world going at it at Bramall Lane. So... Um, Good there. Uh, let's go down again. Groves Tudor, really good performance from Groves. Started off as a really good fight. Um, some some real quality. So like uh, you know, there was world class boxing on tonight in those two fights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, world title fights. Um, so at the moment, you look at that. It's pretty much you're, you're sort of like talking a nine, a ten out of ten. Um, but then that was kind of about it, really. So. In terms of the whole card, uh, I mean, I would give it an eight. You know, yeah. I thought I, I really enjoy. I'm thinking about how much I enjoyed the card. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed my evening watching the watching the boxing, and I really fucking enjoyed it. To be honest, how many beers have I you had? Hey, how many beers have you had? I've had one. I've had one. Um, I bought this new <laughs> one from uh, Little Pellenbacher. We we advertise them for they don't sponsor us. Yeah, well <laughs> maybe we can maybe we can have a word, but yeah no, I, I, just in terms of or maybe not an or an A like the two the two main the two co headlines were were fucking banging. Yeah. So I have to give it an A. I can't. I think people are expecting too much. And then we had the uh, we had three future stars on quickly. I liked how they did that. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And the, yeah. And then you had and then you had Dave Allen in a pretty boring fight, but he's he's lovable and everyone likes to watch him. And it's a heavyweight fight. So he had that on as well. Commonwealth title. That's not bad. You had uh, Andy Townend for the was that for the British title? I wasn't home. I don't know the result of it. I was I was out by myself. Yeah, but he didn't make the weight, did he? Townend. Didn't make the fucking weight. Did he win or lose? No, he didn't make. So you got British title fight on there as well, and then you've got uh, Jamie Cox on there as well. So yeah, I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, you know the Joshua Johnson card, but it's uh, Joshua it's Johnson. Main, yeah, you know the one with uh, <laughs> Rule Brit 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 Britannia. All that, but yeah, in terms of you look at the two main. The two main events, fucking top, top quality, those two fights. Yeah. And then the rest of the card, yeah, one going to be, it's all right. Pretty good. Decent enough, decent then enough. Then fucking, compare that to any, um, compare that to any, I'm not having a go at Box Nation, but compare that to any Box Nation card. Box Nation put that on, everyone would be like, fuck, that was, that was fucking good. Box Nation. That was, that was a good, that was a good pay-per-view. Um, it's not Joshua Klitschko, but you know, even then people weren't. But the the main the main fight was quality, and the the undercard, uh, the co main event was was top class as well. And then you had some some high quality youngsters and and some decent national fights on the undercard. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm giving it an eight. You're happy. You're, you're a happy boy. One beer in, eight out of ten. Jobs are good enough. Yeah, one bit. So <laughs> I didn't even need to get drunk. <laughs> so yeah, what, what, what would you give it? What would you give it? Well, Brooke Spence for me was an eight out of ten fight. It, it was very good. Groves Chudnov because of the drama and you know Groves getting him out of there. I gave it a nine out of ten. 
the undercard, the rest of it. You know what? Stadium fights, the atmosphere is never amazing until the main event either because there's people just walking around getting beers and it's never. Yeah. it doesn't keep the sound in. But I'd give the, the, the event as a whole a 7 out of 10. Um, so yeah, I think it done it done it it's done what it was supposed to do. You know what I mean? Good show. Kel Brooks now lost his world title, but George Groves has won his. So I'm over the fucking moon. Um, so yeah, let's let's wrap this up. Any anything anything that's come from the show that you know finally any anything unexpected or expected that you what will you take from tonight's tonight's card? I don't know. Um, that's, I don't know. I don't know. I know this. One thing I want to add, why didn't Eddie Hearn come and stand next to Dave when they do the little interview thing? You know that? Yeah. Le- they do that? Well, Lemroy was busy praising Jehovah. So. Yeah, they were going to get a room. Then, Big up Jehovah. They? Big up Dave <laughs> Allen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, nothing for that. Yeah, I, I, I had a lot of fun watching that tonight. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, I'm, I'm glad Grows won. That was the main thing. But, yeah, go, go to Kel. Go Most to definitely. Kel, well, Let's wrap it up. I'm over the moon for George Groves becoming the new world champion. Is Kel Brook done? Is he finished? Is the eye gone? Is confidence gone? Can he win a world title elsewhere? Time will tell. This has been Fight Talk. Don't forget to check out the website, fighttalk.net. Thanks for listening.